is n an integer? In order to understand this question, we need to understand what the integers are. The integers are, first of all, numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 going on to infinity, and also negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, dot, 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 going on to infinity in that direction. The, so, in other words, the integers are the whole positive or negative numbers. And in fact, one way to remember that is that the word integer shares the same Latin root with the word integrity. I have integrity if I have a certain wholeness. I lack integrity if, for example, I'm saying one thing and doing another thing, if there's not a wholeness to my, to my manner, to my words, and my actions. So much in the same way integers have an essential wholeness, integers exclude fractions, also known as the rational numbers, as well as a much larger set known as the irrational numbers. For example, square root of 3, pi, all of those are irrational numbers, cannot be written as a fraction. So fractions and irrationals are excluded from the integers. So having clarified all that, let's look at the statement. Statement number one tells us that n squared is an integer. So what do we know about n? Well, if we take the square root of both sides, we get that n is the square root of an integer. Well, the square root of an integer is not necessarily an integer. The square root of 9, that happens to be 3. So that's one where the square root of an integer is an integer. But the square root of 2 is not an integer. It's an irrational number. In fact, this particular one was proved an irrational number by Mr. Pythagoras himself. And so knowing that n is the square root of an integer, we cannot determine whether or not n is an integer by itself. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number two tells us that the square root of n is an integer. So again, to solve for n, we just square both sides. n equals an integer squared. Well, when you square an integer, you always get another integer. So this is an absolute guarantee that n is an integer. So this statement is perfectly sufficient. Statement number one is insufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice B.